It is almost April. Spring has almost sprung. Now when I say almost because of where I live, I'm in the UP and we still have like four feet of snow out there in the yard. But nevertheless, the sun is shining more and it is warming up. So I'm starting to think about the lake. Now we go camping a lot. We are only home like three and a half days a week during spring, summer, and fall. So which means we kind of have to have two of everything instead of hauling everything back and forth and back and forth. So today I'm going to make a snuffle ball. I made one for Ruby, I have a puppy, she's three months old now. And I made her a snuffle ball for home and traditionally they are made with fleece and you know, she absolutely loves it. And, but when it comes to, to, to camping life, things have to be modified or a little bit different because I can't bring this to camp because it's gonna get filthy and because it's gonna be outside and she's gonna be running around with it and it's gonna get sand and mud and dirt and I just, I, I don't want the mess. So I'm gonna make mine a little bit different and I'll show you that in a little bit, but I am gonna show you how I made this, but just on a smaller scale. Now this is a snuffle ball for a dog, but I am also making, they're not technically snuffle balls, but they're catnip balls and it's the same process is making the snuffle ball except for on a smaller scale and the little folds these little folds that are in here will hold catnip and treats so wedgie and cheeto they absolutely love them but i'm gonna make one for my niece because she just adopted a kitty so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get started and these are the tools that you're gonna need you're gonna need a punch not a punch but a punch it's something sharp and you can even use a big nail. You're also gonna need five zip ties to make one ball. A pair of scissors to cut your fabric. A hammer to put the whole punch through the, the fabric and a piece of wood, just a crappy old piece of wood. And what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera over here so you guys can see how this is done so that you're not struggling to see what I'm doing. So what I've done is I've got this little bowl here. This is going to be my template for the the for the circles for my fabric. And how I do mine is I just take a sharpie and you know put it. Just want to make sure you can see it. Put it on the fabric and trace it out. And what I do is I, I cut in between, just inside of the circle so that the, um, so that the Sharpie marker isn't going to show. And for this little kitty treat ball, you need 36 circles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of cut this off, this part, put it over there, set that aside. Now we're going to do our punches. And what you do is you take your, your piece of fabric, fold your circle in half and then fold it again so that it makes a triangle. And then take your hole punch or your, your bigger nail, put it right in the corner as far as you can get it, but not too far, and then pound it. Okay, now we have a little hole there. Mine is an X shape. And then we're just gonna feed this onto there until we get eight of each one of these onto one. There's one. And then 
you're just going to keep feeding them on there until you have four, four um, zip ties full with eight of them on each one. And then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so now that I have eight, eight um, triangles on there or pieces of fabric fed through the, the zip tie, I am going to go ahead and I'm, just, I'm going to barely click it on there because I want it to stay as a circle like that. I want it to, to be like this. You want this part to be not fully pulled down yet. So after you get four of these done, then we'll come back and I'll show you what how you put it all together. Okay, now that I have eight of them on each zip tie on four of them, so you have one, two, three, four. This is what's going to form our ball. You're going to take your zip tie, your bare one, and just feed it through each one, like so. And you're going to barely click this one into place also. Barely click that one into place also. And then you're going to take each one that you have clipped around the main one and pull that as tight as you possibly can get it. Sometimes you have to kind of look for them a little bit. Okay, now that I have all four of them pulled as tight as they can be, now I've got to go and I'm going to find the middle one here, its tail, and pull that as tight as I can get it. And there it is. And that's what's going to form our ball. This is going to pull them all together. You'll see that. Now, and it's quite compact, and that's the way that I would want it. I want it compact so that it will hold the catnip so it doesn't just fall out or the treats. Now, when it comes to cutting the, the zip ties out, try to cut them as close as you can to the base of it, and they are sharp. So what I'm going to do is I have a soldering gun that gets very hot, and I'm just gonna touch the ends of that and just melt that down a little bit very carefully so that there's no sharp edges in there because they are going to be, you know, pushing their faces in it. And, and you don't want them to cut their, their snouts. We don't want cut snouts because cut snouts lead to pain and discomfort and swelling and then may possibly an infection. And, you know, it's just it's just safer to, to melt down the zip tie where you've cut it. So this one is done, except for I'm, I, all I have to do is melt the ends of it where it's, you know, sharp. And then I will go ahead and I'm going to gift this to my niece for her, her new kitty that she adopted. And I'm sure he's going to love it. They all do. Um, and I'm going to gift her with a package of treats and a package of kitty nip to go with it. And it's kind of like a, a welcome home gift for a new kitty, a new adoptee to the family. Now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna show you the snuffle ball, the big one. I'm gonna show you what I decided to try to do instead of the, um, uh, the fleece for up at camp. All right, I just gotta get my area work, uh, cleaned up here and then I'll, I'll get to it. So for camp, I, I kinda came up with this idea of using shower poofs. Um, she may tear them apart, I don't know. But for, you know, seven bucks, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. I needed something that wasn't going to hold a lot of moisture, that wouldn't hold moisture, that would, you know, I could wash the bacteria and germs out of it because it's gonna be on the ground a lot at camp. 
and so I can throw it in some water, rinse it out at night, hang it in a tree, and it'll be absolutely dry by the next day. And you know, it may get dirty, but it's not gonna be dirty. You know, it may look like that. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna find, like right here, find where, where it's held together. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to poke the zip tie through it and do exactly what I did with the other snuffle ball. Just barely get it on there, like that. And I'm gonna do seven of these because I have seven of them. Sometimes you gotta kinda just feel around for it. it it'll go right through the netting quite easily. But I think this is gonna be worth it. So I can shake it out and get all the dirt and stuff out of it before I, I rinse it off and wash it up and hang it in the tree to dry. This one's gonna take a little more work than the other one, but I think it's really gonna be worth it. Here we go. Again, speed it through there very, just barely. And then I'm just gonna to continue to get all of these on there and then we're gonna string it together like we did the other one and see what it looks like. Okay, so now I have this one done and I'm really liking the way that it turned out. I mean, I can put, I can stuff treats right inside of here. I really like the way this turned out and I decided to cut off all the loops except for two so I can hang it so that it can dry after it's been, you know, on the ground and got all icky and whatever. I can take it and squish it out in the sink and get all the grime out of it and then just hang it up outside and it will dry just perfectly and the airflow it could the air can get through it so that it, it won't stay wet and it's roughly about the same size as their as, as her one at home so i'm really excited to see how this works this summer for the for her so yay we got another thing for camp it's so strong